What's going on guys? Today we have a brand new catalyst, a catalyst of ousting another member of the C-suite, the light last time where GameStop ousted CFO and then the stock rose greatly. So I want you to be able to not only get this piece of news that the video game retailer has now kicked out Frank M. Hamlin, its chief customer officer, but then to ask yourself exactly what is the customer service law and the great long? How exactly can we fight a uh, scale with precision and GameStop's 30 billion plus market cap? Just a strong DD of exactly where the GameStop world is currently with customer service. If you guys find this video very helpful, very very, very entertaining, or at the very least, something to keep your mind off of the charts, which we have uh, right up to the top right and the top left. We'd really appreciate a like. That's the only chart of the transaction, completely free, a zero per hundred uh, percent off that like button right now. And subscribe if you want to invest in yourself, only if you want to. All right? Uh, video game retailer GameStop Core has said. Tuesday that Frank M. Hamlin, its chief customer officer, will leave the company after a transition period ending in March 31st. They announced the news in a regulatory filing. The company is scheduled to report fourth quarter earnings today, and I'll be live streaming that right here. It's first since a Reddit fueled rally that sent the stock up more than one thousand six hundred percent in a few days in january as traders use social media platforms and no fee apps like Robinhood to egg each other on into creating a short squeeze gamestop is expected to report earnings per share of a dollar 35 or 88 million dollars on two billion dollars in revenue in fourth quarter according to the consensus estimates of six analysts surveyed by facts and we will find out if that's true uh, we are planning on having some of the holdemen come together and cover that as well those estimates have been steadily falling from October when consensus estimates foresaw EPS of $1.80 on revenue of $2.5 billion in fourth quarter. Shares went down 0.1% pre-market uh, and have gained, but since have gained 900% in the year to date, while the S&P 500 has grown 7%. So once again, if anyone has been trying to tell you that GameStop is not at all what it is, a beautiful once in a lifetime opportunity, they are just FOMO'd out because anybody with eyes can do the math here. GameStop has risen. Now, one of the things that I want to be able to explain here is that Ryan Cohen customer service and the great long. So uh, as every single good DD starts, think like a customer. Look to the end of this video, guys, because you're going to be really excited that you stayed. Uh, think about customer service. Think about who the customer is. Walk into GameStop. Walk into PetSmart. Walk into Best Buy. Walk into Target. Ask yourself what could be better and why things are the way they are. Could we do better? When you've mastered customer service, willingness to pay increases right one of the most important pieces of the pie right now is how kind and nice you can be to someone in that comes into your shop and asks for a certain thing if you can swing them in that way customer service oftentimes ends up being the most important piece of having a competitive edge like gamestop there are many competitors and many alternatives to gamestop in the world right but can GameStop win on customer service, especially since it just ousted its customer C uh, C-suite member? Let's find out. Uh, purpose. Disclaimer, don't use this DD to confirm your bias as a means to make silly choices. Remember, this is not financial advice. Uh, use this opportunity to learn, you dingus. Uh, some of you remember the DD I wrote about Cloudflare and the serverless computers back in May 2020. Okay, let's skip this paragraph real quick. Uh, Wall Street Bets has grown in their view. Our committed analysts tend to BTFO uh, Wall Street analysts. We have the on-the-ground experience as laborers, customers, and digital na natives that they often filter out of a privileged ignorance. And that is actually a pretty important, new, an important perspective that... People just like you, right? Moon Pluto members, Space Apes members. We don't have the the luxuries of uh, being a uh, yuppie, high speed trader person that comes in wearing a suit uh, and board shorts, right? This is uh, something that we have experience with. Walking into GameStop in our in our childhoods, being able to be uh, someone who remembers the AMC experience, and that is all the difference part of this is also due to the fact i believe that investing in securities will become increasingly complex yet accessible for a typical retail investor which will either result in isolation or incentivize cooperation 
Uh, Mary Lou says that there is nobody that knows customer service better than Cohen. Chewie sent uh, her flowers after they ca- she canceled auto ship for her dog after he passed away. And Ryan Cohen already has. There is already news that Ryan Cohen is making the rounds, answering actual customer emails himself. This man is gonna b- about to do magic, and you guys are gonna want to listen to what kind of magic he has in store. Part of this is also due to the fact that they believe investing in securities will become increasingly complex yet accessible for a typical retail investor, which will either result in isolation or incentivize cooperation. And speaking of that, one of the best ways to learn about this increasingly complex but accessible world is uh, investing in yourself, learning from these videos, because there is always a golden nugget in each of these videos somewhere of teaching you a little bit more about the world of stocks. Does the average retail investor really understand the core regulatory influences in investments like Square, PayPal, or even Robin the Hood? Uh, how do we compare social media? Uh, what really is customer service? You are here. Are we familiar with new international trades that increase Mexican text and manufacturing, and so on and so on? Okay. At the end of the day, these are the kinds of uh, these are the kinds of DDs that he has done before, and he wants to share with you. First phase: real estate. Walk into a Best Buy. They do some things right, but they do some things wrong. Want in, uh, uh, walk into the gaming section of Target. Notice the activity levels in the region, but think critically of the real estate afforded to it. How does it affect your experience? Ultimately, a floor design is a subset of customer service and sale intentions. A location that sells furniture and diet pills may not service customers the same way a place that sells gaming culture and gaming device products. GameStop will predictably close down smaller shops while expanding the size of others to produce an alternative service. GameStop will no longer be a convenience store aisle, but rather an aisle for culture. Mm, an area for culture. The reason for this is clear. Gaming is big where many players will win. Gaming expands multiple culture vendors, uh, vectors, movies, cosplay events, entertainment parks, metaverses, <laughs> metaverses, sold out arenas, cafes, midnight releases, and home development. If you have an industry where people will wait in line, you have a gold mine of an industry. This is important to note that this uh, encapsulates the uh, the pictures that we've seen already of those gaming chairs, of the setups that uh, Ryan Cohn is trying to uh, lead out for GameStop as a uh, as a hip place to relax and open up your social circles. Now that people are desperate to try and re tendril the social connection that they used to have before the pandemic started. Uh, Dallas Harvey wants me to check out Theta on BlockFi for sure. Just a second. Uh, second phase, customer, hold on, whoop, second phase, cus- okay, first phase is real estate, second phase is customer service. You are a, uh, you as a dear millennial or parent of a millennial understand that gaming is larger than life and that experience will never fundamentally change. Ryan Cohen understands this. It is the core of an American market, much like Chewy's targeting of pets. What Ryan Cohen seeks is to breach the American household rather than to compete with the likes of Amazon and Target, compete with the likes of Amazon or Target. Ultimately, Cohen is a proud student of Jeff Bezos. This is a stated fact by himself. Ask yourself, what if a parent wants to buy a high-grade computer setup for their child? Is it reasonable to assume that 54-year-old mother will understand the differences between AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards? What services can GameStop capture to produce economic value for streamers, cosplay, or and esports consumers? Uh, what products exist beyond Corsair, Logitech, and other big-name products? Do small manufacturers produce good value products that customers may love? Can things like Legos, Roblox, Minecraft, and Nintendo find themselves in the same space? Is it possible to have GameStop create integrations with services like Unity, Steam, Roblox, and other digital services? How rapidly could GameStop capitalize on successes like Among Us or other sectors like child gaming? Child gaming? Uh, Like we? Uh, like Wii Sports, can GameStop capture bigger sports and sports betting markets? And there's a picture of uh, of someone's cool gaming chair here. Summary. So one of the things, most important things is these questions that you are asking about the services that GameStop provides is the most important thing at the end of the day when it comes down to exactly what we are fighting for, understanding the customer, understanding the person, power to the players right now. Uh, when Long says, what's happening GME, will it drop more? Let's uh, go into the technical analysis in just a second. 
uh, and then finally, uh, summary. Despite GameStop being in a meme state, it was quite obvious that the organization was undervalued relative to the larger American or global gaming market. The company stagnated and had a weak formula for success in a rapidly evolving retail sector. They personally believe that GameStop has the potential to sustain beyond 20 to 30 billion market cap if it operates and succeeds strategically. The first step was to have leadership that understands the larger than life nature of technology and culture, which it has achieved. The next step is is transforming the company's space to properly service its customers and products. Final step is to overhaul the customer service to increase engagement, satisfaction, and to put the customer in to put the custom in customer. Well, in that sense, exactly how has GameStop made you feel like a customer in the past if you've uh, been to one of their stores or even used their uh, online services or anything else on that sort? If GameStop has made you feel like put you they have put the custom in customer drop that comment in the description down below and hit that like button to appreciate what ryan cohen will do and has already done for gamestop in the future if you guys want to be able to support the show the moon platoon guerrillionaire and the meatball the space legend tiers are all within your grasp by just pressing the join button next to the subscribe button whenever you want it's up to you take your time uh or heading out to patreon and checking it out there for now but not for forever we'll see you in the money